folks were back. So I've transferred the camellia onto this watercolour paper with a nice uh, pencil outline. Hopefully you can see that. Um, so now we're going to add the watercolours. I'm going to paint a background first to give it some depth and some contrast between the flowers and the, the background. I'll give it a wee bit of a nice uh, contrast. So here goes. Uh, I want to mix a, a sort of grey. I, I did this painting with an acrylic. Well, that worked quite nicely with the, the grey background so I'm going to do the same with watercolours this time. So I'll mix up a nice sort of grey, a mid-tone grey, mix lots of colours, so I've got black there, could maybe put a bit of brown into it. A bit of blue. So make sure you've got enough colour to do the background. So I'm starting at the top, working way down, going round about the leaves and the flower, round the vase, down to the, the edge of the, the table there, this horizontal line. Okay, and we're, we're going to try and put a flat wash on there. So we're going across and down. Round the flower, the camellia, teasing the water down, round the leaves. This is a, a hake brush with goat's hair. Tilting the board slightly on the jar. To the table. You can see it's a flat wash. Ending it there, a little bit behind the flower. I can use that grey for some highlights in the, the jar where the water is, some reflections. <laughs> 